What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another awesome Planet Fitness workout with me, Teddy Savage. I'm super excited to be back in the club, and I cannot wait to get you all back in as well. Now, our team has been working extremely hard to keep things squeaky clean in preparation for your return. But we also want you all to help us out once you get back in by being clean considerate and wiping down your equipment before and after each use. You can do so by using the cleaning supplies at any one of our cleaning stations like that one over my shoulder. You can find those throughout the gym. Now we're about to get started in our 30 minute express area and it's one of my personal favorites because it's a perfect combination of strength and cardio and you can get a total body experience in, you guessed it, 30 minutes. Now it's a circuit style format and it has stations numbered one through 20. Now today we'll be doing it a little differently, but when you all get back in, I want you to do the entire circuit in order. That way you get a total body experience, baby. Now today's workout is all about lower body muscles. And this muscle group is essential to functional movement. It's paramount for posture and it offsets injury. But you all know what I like to say, before any great workout, we gotta start with a great warm up. So let's get cooking, baby. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple of steps and stretches to get our bodies ready for movement through dynamic stretching, all right? We're gonna do a step, so we'll lunge out with our left and then reach overhead to cross the midline of the body. This works our lower body and our upper body as well. So now we'll step out with the opposite leg. So right leg out, then we'll reach over. Good, make sure you stretch and you should feel that right here. Let's come on back, let's go opposite leg now, left leg up, come on out and stretch. Good, make sure you keep your chest up, chin up and eyes forward. Let's go opposite leg, right leg up, drive it up, stride on out and cross the midline of your body, keeping your chest up, chin up, eyes forward. Last time on this leg, Left leg, we got five seconds, come on out. Good, chest up, shoulders back, stretch it on out, and relax. That was amazing because it gets our upper body, hip flexors, and lower body engaged as well. So this time what we're gonna do is the same step and stretch, but this time twist to get our core in. So left leg up, stride on out. Now take your hand and twist, crossing the midline of your body, making sure your chest, chin, Eyes and shoulders move at the same time, okay? Let's go right leg, come on out, and twist. Good, reset, opposite leg. So we're here, stride out, twist, good job. Let's step back, go opposite leg, drive it up. Stride on out, cross the midline. Five seconds, let's go one more time on the opposite leg, drive it up. Stride on out, twist, good, and come on back, baby. Outstanding. So this time we'll do a step and stretch knee tuck to really stretch out those hip flexors and get it all the way up to the chest. So let me show you. We'll step forward, get that left leg up and pull. Come on back and do the opposite leg. You guys come on in with me. So now I'll step, get my right knee up, pull it towards my chest and come on back. Reset, go left leg, step, pull, really stretching hip flexors, quads, good job. If you need to, put your hand on something to safeguard against falling or getting off balance. Good job. Chest up, shoulders back, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, last stretch. Why not? Good job, team. All right, now on your toes, shake it out a little bit. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. So now we'll get into our oldie but goodie. You know what I mean, jumping jacks, okay? Remember, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Come on in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get saucy with it. Get jiggy with it, right? I'm a tune in your head. As a matter of fact, tell me what your favorite tune is to work out to in the comments, right? I like to listen to music not only while I'm working out, but while I'm driving to the gym, when I'm driving home from the gym, feeling great about my efforts. Keep going, five, four, three, two, and relax, outstanding. All right, so let me talk to you for a second, team. Again, we're going lower body focus today, but we'll mix it in with some cardio because you know I can't let you guys go without being saucy. Now, I am gonna be using my Planet Fitness water bottles for slight resistance. You can use whatever you have at your disposal or no weights at all and just focus on form and technique. We're gonna work hard for 45 seconds and rest for 30. But remember, work at your own pace. Take breaks when necessary. Your work equals your results, baby. All right. So our first exercise is a squat into a calf raise, but we'll do the calf raise down in a squatted position, all right? So we're here, push those hips back, calf raise and stand up. Three, two, one, 
Showtime. So we're squatting, then calf raise. Down, up. Let me show you from the side. So we're down, calf raise. Good, and stand up. Come on back. Now, as I have my weights here, this is called a front-loaded position, okay? So I don't have the weights on my back. It's right here, slightly above my shoulders. And this helps to put more resistance on those quads or the muscles on the top of your legs. Good job. Good. For modification, go three-quarter squat. Still give me that calf raise and stand up. Three-quarter squat, calf raise, and stand up. 45 seconds. But remember, it's not about going super fast. It's about time under tension, making sure every repetition is safe and effective. Good. Chest up. Shoulders back. Five seconds. Finish stronger than you started. Five, four, three, two, one. And <laughs> relax. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to keep my water bottles here. And what we're going to do right now is a knee drive into a front kick, okay? So it's going to be here. Keep my water bottles. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're knee drop. Front kick, alternate sides. All right, breathe in. And out. Five, four, three, two, show time. Let's go left leg. Knee drop. Front kick. Knee drop. Front kick. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, hum that tune in your head. Get a little bit of rhythm, right? Let's see who's dancers out there. And remember in the comment section, shoot me your favorite song that you like listening to when you get saucy. For me, it's always the hits. It's always the classics, baby. I'm an old soul. Keep going. Drive, kick. This is really good, again, for lower body engagement, okay? So it's almost like a stretch and a cardio move at the same time. And we're working those muscles. So we want to keep them lubricated. Keep blood flow. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax, kicking that bad boy out of here, okay? So this time what we're going to do is an alternating front lunge with a pulse. So I'll stand with my weights right up here by my side, shoulders back, chest out in front. I'm going to step out into a lunge, pulse, and come back up. Alternate sides, here, pulse, and come back up. Now for modification, just pronounce step back, pulse, and reset. Three, two, one, show time, family, let's go. Good. So I'm here, and that's again a modification. We want to go front lunge, pulse, and back up. Reset, alternate sides. Front lunge, pulse, and back up. When you do the front lunge, make sure you don't overextend on that front knee, okay? You want to keep it behind your toes. Keep your chest up, shoulders back, and come back up. Take your time through that pulse, okay? This is time under tension. So the slower, the better. Drive, stride, pulse, and come back up. Even in that stride, it looks like the dynamic movement we did for stretching, right? Your stretches should look like your workout. Five, four, three, two, last rep. Best rep, pulse, pulse, back up and relax. Good job, shake them out, shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. Okay, let me put my weights down. Let me talk to you. The next one we're gonna do is all cardio. So I want you to discover your eight on a scale of one to 10. All right, so it's a twist and reach. We're gonna go twist and reach low. So we still get engagement in the lower body. Three, two, one, show time, let's go. Twist and reach, again. When you do it, try to stride out so you're stretching that back leg and you're twisting in your thoracic spine. That means you're getting good rotation through your lower back. Good, good. And tap that ground. For modification, just go here. Just focus on the twist and the extension on that back leg. You'll start feeling this in your quads and in your hamstrings because of that good extension on the back leg. Tap, twist, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good job. Good. Keep going. Push yourself. Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Last rep. Oh, baby. Oh, when it start to burn and you start to glisten like me, just smile and say, where you been all my life? Let's go ahead and pick up those weights. So this time, we have a back lunge into a lateral leg raise. Let me show you. So we'll back lunge here. Stand up. Lateral leg raise. And down, alternate sides, back lunge, up, lateral leg raise, and down. Here we go, three, two, one, let's get it. Back lunge, chest up, shoulders back, up, reset, lateral leg raise, down, back lunge, good. Now this lateral leg raise is really good for my hip muscles, okay? 
Those are called abductors. Good job. Good. Focus on form, technique. So if you don't have weights right now, that's okay. You should still feel it in those abductors. Raise. Try not to lean over. You do your lateral leg raise. I'll show you from the side. Good. Back lunge. Up. Lateral leg raise. Alternate. Good. Chest up. Shoulders back. Squeeze. Good job. Now remember, form over volume of reps. Three, two, last rep. One, back lunge. Up. Lateral leg raise. Reset. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. So now we got high knees, okay? Now I want you to again to remind yourself, move at your own pace. This is cardio, but I want you to be safe, okay? Breathe in. And up. High knees. We're going here. Trying to really pump those arms and drive those knees. Three, two, one. Be a star. Here we go. Let's be a star today. Let's be the stars that we are, baby. High knees. Pump those arms from the shoulders, not the elbows. For a modification, just march. March in place. Focus on knee drop. Focus on stepping over the opposite knee. What I mean by that is here, my foot that's raised is over the opposite knee on the leg that's down. Here we go. Keep moving. Keep grooving. Keep having fun. Tell yourself, I can and I will. I can and I will, baby. Convince yourself, we got 10 seconds. Last 10, best 10. Really push, five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh baby, so much fun. So much fun to get the heart rate accelerated, moving for functional movement. Go ahead and grab those weights again. This time what we're gonna do is a three quarter squat into a 45 degree kickback, okay? Sounds complicated, but it's not. So we'll three quarter squat, just like so. Then we'll go right into a 45 degree kickback, okay? That's important, the angle, because it works a different part of your glute. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Three quarter squat, kickback. Three quarter squat, 45 degrees. This helps the gluteus medius, or the middle part of the glute right here. 45, right there. Three quarter squat, 45 degrees. Front load, good. That's what I'm talking about. Keep moving. As we're working, and I know you all are working hard, I want you to remember, education is power. Education is key. So as I'm talking through these points, I want them to sink in, right? Three quarter squat, 45 degree, with gluteus medius. Good. Keep going. Chest up, shoulders back. Last 10, last 10. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Five, four, three, two, last rep. And relax. Oh, I felt that one. I love doing lower body. You can feel it instantly. Breathe in and out. Good. So now we got fast feet, right? And you guys know I love fast feet. So chop, chop. We can go side to side. We can go forward and back. We can be dynamic. Color outside the lines. Here we go. Breathe in and out. Chest up, shoulders back. When you break it down, shoulders over your knees, knees over your toes. Hips and butt back. Three, two, one. Showtime. Cha, cha, cha. Good. We're here. We're here and we're on our toes to safeguard against impact to our ankles and knees. All of this is absorbed in my quads, my glutes, and my calves. And I'm leaning forward so I can make sure to keep tension on that muscle. Come on, look at me. I'm looking at you. I can't see you, but I can feel you. I'm coming to you. Come on back to me. Come on to me. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh man, oh man. Listen, nobody has to say that fitness can't be fun. I love it. I know you love it, so let's love it together. All right, let's get those weights again. We got curtsy lunges this time. Remember, mechanics, form, then effort, okay? So stand about hip width apart. We're gonna sweep right leg behind left leg. Up, opposite side, up. For a modification, just step over and come back up, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. Remember, we're coming behind. This is really good for those glutes. It's called curtsy lunges. Remember, we're focusing on lower body engagement, lower body muscles. 
Good. Shoulders up. Chest up. Eyes forward. Sweep. Come on up. Good. Sweep that foot behind you. Keep your shoulders up. Chest out in front. Good. For modification, don't go down into the lunge. Just sweep that leg. Step up. Reset. Opposite side. Good. Keep those weights. If you have them, right here. Up. Good. Good. Deep lunge. Deep curtsy. Up. We got about 10 seconds. Finish strong and then we start. That's a mental commitment. Right? Five, four, three, two. Last rep. Last rep. And relax. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right? Bounce on your toes a little bit. Smile big for me. Tell yourself you can and you will. So now let's do these skaters, okay? Now, for skaters, it almost looks just like the curtsy lunge we just did. And you're going to sweep that leg behind your front leg, but this time at a hop. It's called plyometric element, okay? Three, two, one, 45 seconds of fun. Let's go. So we're here, hop, sweep, cross the midline of the body, right there, good. Now take a look at this. This is non-weighted, but it's gonna work your muscles in the same way, okay? Good, push, push. If you can, give me a little bit more of a lateral bound like that, right? If you wanna modify, step, Sweet reach, step, sweet reach, good. Here we go, push yourself, right? Finish strong and even start. That's mental tough. Feel yourself on the ice, gliding down the rink, about to score the winning goal, right? Here we go, last 10, last 10. Finish strong, team. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Shake him out, shake him out. Oh, baby, that felt good. So good that we got some more, right? We're not finished just yet. So breathe in and out. In and out. Good. So now what we're going to do is calf raises, but we'll do it in three different ways. First way, toes forward, right? Then when I say switch, toes in, just like so. This is working the outer side of those calves. Then we'll switch for the last time, heels in, like a plie or ballerina. Working the inside of the cat. Three, two, one. 20 seconds on each. Good. Chest up. Shoulders back. Chin up by his full. Good. Now, I know this exercise is called calf raises, but it really helps the whole posterior chain, right? And that posterior chain is calves, hamstrings, glutes, low back. Good. Five, four, three, Two, switch, toes in, toes in, good. It's almost like your pigeon toe. There we go, nice and slow, full range of motion, working the outer part of the calves. And remember, your muscles are three-dimensional. Just like everything else in life. They have different parts to them. You wanna work every part. Three, two, switch, heels in, toes out. Like a graceful ballerina, right? Chest up, shoulders back, eyes forward. I want you to know this stuff so well that you can go and teach one of your friends. Say, hey, look, I know a great workout to work your posterior chain. They're gonna be like, what? So educated, man. Let's do it, let's have fun. That's what I'm talking about. Don't keep it to yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let me put these weights down and let me talk to you for a second because this last one, I really need you to make a promise to me. I want you to promise me, no matter how much you love it or don't love it, but you'll give it everything you got because it's burpees, right? And I know everybody loves it. So we just got to give it everything we have for 45 seconds. I'll show you a modification, but let's promise that to one another. Now we're going to go at a four count. So it's here. One, two, three, four, and back up for modification. One, two, three, step out, step in, reset. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get cooking. One. Two, three, four, back up. One, two, three, four. Good modification. One, two, hands down, walk it up. Walk it up. Guess what? If you're modifying, you're still moving and grooving. Hey, look, we're still having fun. Good. Push yourself. I'm going back in. Because you know I like to get sauce, fam. Here we go. Elbows in on that push up. Explode up. Elbows in. Explode up. Try to go get me a start. Right? Go get me a start. Keep moving. Keep grooving. Last 10. Best 10. Walk it up. Walk it in. 
reset. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Oh, baby, so good, so good. We got warmed up, then we got saucy. Let's cool it on down, all right. So, let's stand about feet, a little less than hip width apart. And what I wanna do is reach those hands up, interlock those fingers, and get your chest to the ceiling. Good, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let it come down, good. Take your right hand, reach it across, stretch them right here. This is called your obliques and serratus. Come on back, stretch it again. Good, chest up, shoulders back. That was amazing, right? We gotta stretch the lower body. So I want you to spread those legs open. I want you to come on down, get your elbows on the inside of your knees and push out slightly. It's gonna stretch the inner part of your thigh. Stretch, stretch, good. Now take your left knee, place it down on the ground, right leg forward, use your hands and push those hips through. Stretching your hip flexor and the top of your quad. Right here, hold it, hold it. Now lean back, heel down, toe up. Grab that toe, stretch the calf, just like so. Good, breathe in and now Switch, there we go, left leg forward, right leg back. Hands here, on those hips, push them through. Ooh, baby, feels so good to finish a lower body workout, right? It takes a lot of energy, but when you finish, you feel so accomplished. All right, let's lean back, heels down, toes up. Grab that toe, pull it back towards your chest. Hold it, hold it, breathe in, and out. And gentlemen, boys and girls, that was so much fun. Working lower body can be tough, but when we do it together, it makes it that much sweeter. And don't forget, it's essential to functional movement and to offset injury by building foundational strength. And remember, we're here Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to help you all keep moving and grooving. And don't forget to download that free Planet Fitness app for even more content and more ways to stay motivated. Until next time, love yourself, love each other, peace.